Section. Introduction. In this section, we delve into the world of diffusion probabilistic models, or DPMs for short, which have been making waves for their ability to create high-quality outputs across a variety of applications. These applications range from turning text into images, synthesizing audio, to generating 3D models. However, achieving this high level of quality comes at a cost. Specifically, it requires sampling from a large DPM, which involves hundreds of steps where each step is computationally expensive. To put this into perspective, using a top-tier RTX 3090 graphics card to generate 8 images with a model called DITXL takes about 16.5 seconds, even with 100 denoising steps. This process is roughly 10 times slower than using its smaller counterpart, DITS, which only takes 1.7 seconds but produces lower quality images. Recent efforts to tackle this efficiency problem have focused on two main strategies, reducing the computational cost per step and decreasing the number of steps needed for sampling. The first strategy can be achieved through techniques like model compression, which includes quantization and pruning, or by designing more efficient model architectures. The second strategy involves either condensing multiple denoising steps into fewer ones or enhancing the solver for the differential equation that governs the process. While these approaches have made strides in improving the efficiency of large DPMs, they typically assume that the computational cost of each denoising step remains constant and rely on a single model throughout the entire process. We've observed that this one-size-fits-all approach to the denoising process isn't the most efficient. Different steps in the denoising process have unique characteristics, suggesting that using the same model for all steps might not be the best strategy for efficiency. To address this, we introduce a new strategy called trajectory stitching, or T-stitch for short. This approach enhances the efficiency of DPMs by dynamically allocating computational resources to different denoising steps. Our main idea is to start the denoising process with a smaller DPM and then switch to a larger DPM for the later steps. This allows us to reduce the overall computational costs without compromising on the quality of the generated data. For example, by using two different models, DIT-S and DIT-XL, and increasing the percentage of steps done by the more computationally efficient DIT-S, we can significantly speed up the inference process. Our experiments show that even when the first 40% of steps are done using DIT-S, we achieve a speedup of about 1.5 times without any loss in generation quality. Our method is grounded in two key insights. First, Recent research suggests that different DPMs trained on the same data distribution tend to share similar sampling trajectories, allowing us to stitch together models of different sizes and even architectures seamlessly. Second, from a frequency perspective, the denoising process initially focuses on generating low-frequency components and shifts towards high-frequency details in later steps. Although smaller models might not capture high-frequency details as effectively, they are quite capable of generating a good global structure in the initial steps. Through extensive experiments, we've demonstrated that T-stitch significantly speeds up the inference process of large DPMs without a noticeable loss in generation quality. This improvement is consistent across a variety of model architectures and diffusion model samplers. Moreover, T-stitch can be directly applied to popular large DPMs, like stable diffusion, without any need for retraining. Interestingly, we also found that T-stitch not only improves the speed but also enhances the prompt alignment for stylized models, which is a crucial aspect for text-to-image generation. It's important to note that T-stitch is complementary to existing fast sampling methods. The part of the trajectory handled by the larger DPM can still benefit from techniques aimed at reducing the number of steps or computational costs. Additionally, while T-Stitch already effectively balances quality and efficiency without retraining, we've found that fine-tuning the stitched DPMs based on a specific trajectory schedule can further enhance generation quality. This fine-tuning allows the larger DPM to specialize in providing high-frequency details, thus improving the overall quality of the generated data. In summary, our main contributions are the development of T-Stitch, 
a straightforward yet highly effective method for improving the inference speed of DPMs by using smaller models for early denoising steps and larger models for later steps. This approach achieves better speed and quality trade-offs than using large DPMs alone and even allows for significant speedups without sacrificing quality. Our experiments confirm that T-stitch is broadly applicable across different model architectures and samplers and enhances the performance of widely used models like stable diffusion, particularly in terms of prompt alignment for stylized text-to-image generation. Section Summary In this section, we introduce trajectory stitching, T-stitch, as a novel strategy to enhance the efficiency of diffusion probabilistic models, DPMs. By dynamically allocating computation to different denoising steps using DPMs of varying sizes, we achieve significant speed improvements without compromising generation quality. Through experiments, we demonstrate that T-stitch is versatile across different model architectures and samplers, offering a valuable complement to existing fast sampling methods and showcasing improved quality efficiency trade-offs without the need for retraining. Section. Related works. In this section, we discuss the advancements and challenges in the field of efficient diffusion models, the role of multiple experts in diffusion models, and the concept of stitchable neural networks. We also introduce our method and its preliminary concepts, including diffusion models and classifier-free guidance. Diffusion probabilistic models, DPMs, have shown remarkable success but are hindered by their slow sampling speed which is due to the need for hundreds of time steps and the use of large denoisers, such as UNET. To speed up the sampling process, some efforts have been made to apply network compression techniques like pruning and quantization. Others have focused on reducing the number of sampling steps through methods like distillation, implicit sampling, and improved differential equation solvers. Another approach to accelerate sampling involves parallel sampling where techniques like operator learning and paradigms have been proposed to predict multiple steps simultaneously or compute the drift at several time steps in parallel. Our proposed method, trajectory stitching, aims to speed up the sampling of large DPMs by using pre-trained smaller DPMs for early denoising steps, leaving room for larger DPMs in later steps. The synthesis behavior in DPMs can vary at different time steps, inspiring the use of an ensemble of experts at various time steps to enhance performance. Some have trained ensembles of expert denoisers for different intervals, but this linearly increases the model parameters without reducing computational costs. Light latent diffusion models, LDMs, with gating mechanisms for wavelet transforms in the denoiser have been proposed to control frequency dynamics at different steps, acting as an ensemble of frequency experts. However, most existing works use the same sized model across all time steps, not considering the trade-offs between speed and quality among different sized models. In contrast, we explore a flexible trade-off, showing that early denoising steps can be efficiently handled by smaller DPMs. Stitchable neural networks, SNNet, are inspired by the idea of model stitching, where pre-trained models of different sizes within a model family can be split and stitched together without significant performance loss. SNNet inserts stitching layers among models of different sizes and applies joint training to achieve various speed performance trade-offs. Our technique, compared to sulfur mononitride net V2, demonstrates the advantages of trajectory stitching over model stitching in terms of speed and quality trade-offs in DPMs, making our T-stitch a better, simpler, and more general solution. Regarding the basics of diffusion models, we consider score-based diffusion models in continuous time. The process involves gradually denoising a sample from high-variance Gaussian noise to less noisy samples by solving the probability flow ordinary differential equation, given the score function. The goal is to learn a model for this score function, which can be reparameterized as a learnable denoiser. The denoiser aims to predict clean data from noisy data points, trained by minimizing the loss of denoising score matching. Typically, these denoisers are large neural networks consuming high computational resources at each time step. We start with the pre-trained DIT model family to showcase the efficiency gains of trajectory stitching and demonstrate its applicability to other architectures like UNET and UVIT. Lastly, we touch on classifier-free guidance, 
a technique that trains a conditional and an unconditional model within the same network by replacing the conditioning signal with a null embedding. This approach, which uses a guidance scale to align the sample more closely with the conditioning signal, has been shown to improve generation quality significantly. We focus on diffusion models trained with classifier-free guidance due to their widespread use and effectiveness. Section Summary Related works diffusion models have shown success but suffer from slow sampling speeds due to numerous time steps and large denoisers like UNET. Efforts to expedite sampling include network compression techniques, reducing sampling steps through methods like distillation and parallel sampling, and utilizing trajectory stitching to accelerate large diffusion process by leveraging small models initially. Additionally, the concept of stitchable neural networks, SNNet, involves splitting and stitching pre-trained models of different scales with simple layers to achieve various speed performance trade-offs. Section. Trajectory Stitching. In this section, we explore the concept of trajectory stitching and delve into why we can seamlessly combine different pre-trained diffusion probabilistic models, DPMs, along the sampling trajectory. To start, it's important to note that DPMs within the same family typically accept and produce data of the same dimensions, such as a 4x32x32 by 32 by 32 grid in DIT models. This means there's no issue with mismatched dimensions when we use various DPMs at different stages of denoising. More crucially, we've noticed that different DPMs trained on the same dataset tend to learn similar patterns in the data, particularly in the early stages of denoising. This is evident from our observations where the similarity between the latent noises produced by different DIT models is nearly perfect at the beginning. This observation led us to propose trajectory stitching, or T-stitch for short. This is a new strategy where we use a smaller, pre-trained model at the start to speed up the sampling process of larger diffusion models. When it comes to selecting models for T-stitch, we aim for a balance between speed and quality. The smallest model in our setup sets the lower bound for speed and the upper bound for quality, while the largest model does the opposite. Therefore, when choosing a small model to pair with a large one, we look for one that is significantly faster, well-optimized, and trained on the same or similar dataset. Our default approach with T-Stitch involves pairing models together along the sampling trajectory. We define a denoising interval as a portion of the total number of steps, denoted as T and this fraction is represented by R, which can range from 0 to 1. We then allocate a smaller model to the initial intervals and switch to a larger model for the later intervals. For example, if we have a small denoiser D1 and a large denoiser D2, we might let D1 handle the first portion of steps and D2 the remaining, adjusting the split to balance between quality and efficiency. This method allows us to fine-tune the trade-off between the speed of sampling and the quality of the generated images. Moreover, T-Stitch isn't limited to just two models. We can introduce more models at different intervals to explore a wider range of speed and quality trade-offs. This flexibility lets us tailor the sampling process to specific needs or constraints, like a given time budget. It's worth mentioning that our approach differs from existing methods that use multiple experts within DPMs. T-Stitch directly applies models of varying sizes from a pre-trained family, allowing us to optimize for different steps without additional training. This is somewhat similar to speculative decoding used in speeding up large language models, but our method is specifically designed for diffusion models and leverages their unique properties for effective speedup. In our experiments, we demonstrate the effectiveness of T-Stitch with DIT models as they provide a convenient family of models to work with. We extend our technique to U-Net and stable diffusion models and test it across different sampling steps and samplers to show its broad applicability. Our findings reveal that starting with a smaller model and transitioning to larger models can achieve significant speedups with minimal impact on image quality. This is further evidenced by our exploration of three model combinations, which allows us to achieve even better trade-offs between speed and quality, as shown by our results in terms of Frechet inception distance, FID, and inception score. Section Summary 
Trajectory stitching enables the direct stitching of different pre-trained DPMs along a sampling trajectory by leveraging models from the same family that share similar latent embeddings and noise shapes. The trajectory stitching strategy, T-stitch, selects smaller models at the beginning to accelerate sampling speed, allowing for flexible trade-offs between speed and quality by allocating different denoisers at various intervals in the trajectory. By applying T-stitch to DIT models and extending it to U-net and stable diffusion models, we demonstrate its effectiveness in achieving speedups while maintaining comparable fit and inception scores across different model combinations. Section U-net experiments. In this section, we explore how T-stitch enhances the performance of denoisers, particularly focusing on the widely used U-net architecture. We adapt the U-net model from the class conditional image net implementation found in the latent diffusion model, LDM, making adjustments to reduce the network channel width from 256 to 64 and the context dimension from 512 to 256. These changes result in a significantly smaller model, LDMS, which is 15.8 times smaller than its original version. We compare the performance of the two models, highlighting the differences in a table. Our experiments demonstrate that T-stitch works well with UNet, especially under DDIM with 100 time steps. We find that the first approximately 50% of steps can be efficiently executed by the smaller LDMS model without sacrificing, and sometimes even improving, the fidelity and inception scores. Additionally, we observe a roughly linear reduction in time cost as we increase the use of LDMS steps in the process. This suggests that our approach is versatile and can be applied to various denoiser architectures, as evidenced by the image examples we provide and the application of T-stitch across different model families. Moving on to text-to-image stable diffusion, we leverage the publicly available models on diffusers to speed up the sampling process of large pre-trained or styled stable diffusion SD, models without additional training. We adopt the smallest model, BKSDM Tiny, for our experiments. Using a guidance scale of 7.5 and 50 steps with the PNDM sampler, we observe that the initial 30% of steps can be efficiently handled by BKSDM Tiny with minimal impact on performance metrics such as inception score and clip scores, while even improving the fidelity index, FID. This indicates the potential for smaller, faster models to achieve better quality and efficiency in the future. Our findings also show that T-Stitch is compatible with various large SD models, achieving significant speedups and maintaining image quality. This is particularly evident in stylized SD models, where we notice a smooth style transition between models, suggesting that using a small general model at the start can enhance prompt alignment and overall image quality. In our ablation study, we investigate the impact of T-Stitch with different steps and samplers. We find consistent efficiency gains across various settings, indicating that smaller diffusion models, DPMs, are capable of handling the initial denoising steps effectively. This allows us to reserve the generation of fine details for more capable models. Our experiments also show that T-Stitch is compatible with advanced samplers, further enhancing generation quality in fewer time steps. Comparing T-Stitch with model stitching, we find that T-Stitch offers a clear advantage in achieving flexible speed and quality trade-offs without the need for training. This makes it a complementary technique to existing acceleration methods, including those based on training such as lightweight model design, model compression, and step distillation. Additionally, T-Stitch's compatibility extends to other training-free acceleration methods, such as caching intermediate feature maps, benefiting from model quantization, VAE decoder acceleration, and token merging. These findings underscore the versatility and effectiveness of T-Stitch as an acceleration technique for diffusion models.